Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, I would like to explain how to validate inputs while writing an Autolist program. Which means, sometimes when we ask the user to enter a number, he may not enter number. Sometimes he may, not, he may enter some text. And uh, if we use the same text for any mathematical calculations, then our program may get crashed. So we need to make sure that the user has entered valid input or not and then we need to proceed for the processing so that is what we are going to see today so let's go to visual is pide so let me show you what happens when user enters a wrong input so i am going to take an integer input and i would like to explain you so set q n get int backslash n enter a number let us say i would like to ask the user to enter an integer number so that I would like to do some mathematical transactions. It is like this. Say I want to find the square value of n. That is sqn. That is n into n. That's what I would like to calculate. So first of all, I am loading first statement to get the number. So see what happens. I am loading this statement. Now it is asking enter a number. Let us say if I enter f at the command prompt, it is saying requires an integer value but if you press enter no it will automatically get back to the program which means n has a nil value n doesn't have any value but in the program if you proceed to find the square root of the program thinking that user has entered a number let me run this second statement so see what happened bad argument type number p nil means the program has been crashed let's put these two statements into a program define c colon sqn is my command and this is our program so let's load this program and see what happens so type sqn at the command prompt qn okay now it is asking enter a number if i press enter see what is it saying error occurred bad argument type number p nil so this is the bad way of programming so we need to make sure that user has entered right value or not so for that we can control the user to enter input by using some bit codes so we have something called in it get in it get is there if you put one bit code in front of that one and it will enforce the user not to press enter without entering anything I mean like null input it won't allow null input which means if the user presses enter then it will say please provide a number so load this program and check it out so sqn I am entering now enter a number it is asking if I press enter see it is asking requires an integer value if I type something it is asking enter an integer value so we can use 0 and enter zero is integer so the program has been continued but the square root of the uh, square of the zero is zero only we can also control user not to enter zero as input by providing init get bit code 2 if you provide 2 as bit code that will not allow the user to enter zero now load this code again and try once again okay so sqn i am entering and if you try to enter 0 at the command prompt, it is saying value must be non-zero. You can see that one here. So if you provide A, B, C, D, it won't allow. If you press enter, but if you press enter, it is saying bad argument, which means code 1 is not working. So to combine these two effects, that is null input not allowed, 0 not allowed. So we need to combine both the codes. So let me write it over here. So the first one is one code null input not allowed. Second one two will zero input not allowed. To combine these two codes combination, let's add those two. One plus two three. Okay. Now load this program and now check it out. So type sqn at the command prompt. Now I am typing A, B, C, D. It's not allowing. I am pressing enter. It is not allowing. I am entering zero. It is not allowing. So we have combined two things. That is 
code 1 for null input not allowed code 2 for 0 not allowed so these two are combined by providing 3 init get code so you must have to enter a number now i am entering 5 so you can see 25 has been returned the program is properly validating the input and then another code is also available that is negative number not allowed the code number 4 negative number not allowed you can also use code number 4 and that will control the user not to enter negative numbers okay so like this we can control the user by entering null inputs like this we can validate the input and get the required inputs from the user we can enforce the user to enter the required values to combine all the effects of these three numbers we have to add 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 so you need to get 7 if you write it will not allow blank input or null input it won't allow zero input it won't allow negative number let us try this code i am loading the code and let's go to autocad and type sqn now if i type minus 5 it will say value must be positive and non-zero and if i type 0 it will say value must be positive and non-zero similarly if i press enter it will ask requires a positive non-zero integer so it will enforce the user to enter only required positive integer okay like that we can control the user input we can enforce the user to provide the required inputs friends hope you understood how to validate numerical inputs while we are writing programs friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session